Haggai chapter 2. In the seventh month, on the twenty-first of the new moon, the word of Yahweh came by Haggai the prophet, saying, Speak, please, to Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, governor of Yehuda, and to Jehoshua, son of Jehotzadak, the high priest, and to the remnant of the people, saying, Who is there left among you who saw this house in its former esteem? And how do you see it now? Is it not in your eyes as naught when compared to it? And now, be strong, Zerubbabel, declares Yahweh, and be strong, Yehoshua, son of Jehotzadak, the high priest, and be strong, all you people of the land, declares Yahweh, and work, for I am with you, declares Yahweh of hosts, the word that I covenanted with you when you came out of Mitzrayim, and my spirit is remaining in your midst. Do not fear, for thus said Yahweh of hosts, once more in a little while, and I am shaking the heavens and earth, the sea and dry land, and I shall shake all the nations, and they shall come to the delight of all the nations, and I shall fill this house with esteem, said Yahweh of hosts. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, declares Yahweh of hosts. Let the esteem of this latter house be greater than the former, said Yahweh of hosts. And in this place I give peace, declares Yahweh of hosts. On the twenty-fourth of the ninth month, in the second year of Dariawesh, the word of Yahweh came unto Haggai the prophet, saying, Thus said Yahweh of hosts, Now ask the priests concerning the Torah, saying, If one bears set apart meat in the fold of his garment, and with the edge he touches bread or stew, or wine or oil, or any food, is it set apart? And the priests answered and said, No. And Haggai said, If someone defiled by a dead body touches any of these, is it defiled? And the priests answered and said, It is defiled. And Haggai answered and said, So is this people, and so is this nation before me, declares Yahweh. And so is every work of their hands, and whatever they bring near there is defiled. But now, please consider from this day onward, before a stone was laid on a stone in the Hechal of Yahweh, since those days, one came to a heap of twenty ephahs, and there were ten. One came to the winepress to draw out fifty baths from the press, and there were twenty. I struck you with blight and mildew and hail in all the labors of your hands, and there was none of you with me, declares Yahweh. Consider now from this day forward, from the twenty-fourth day of the ninth month, from the day that the foundation of the Hechal of Yahweh was laid. Consider it. Is the seed yet in the storehouse? And until now the vine, and the fig tree, and the pomegranate, and the olive tree have not yielded fruit. From this day on, I shall bless you. And the second time the word of Yahweh came to Haggai, on the twenty-fourth day of the new moon, saying, Speak to Zerubbabel, the governor of Yehuda, saying, I am shaking the heavens and earth, and I shall overturn the throne of reigns, and I shall destroy the might of the reigns of the nations, and overturn the chariots and their riders, and the horses and their riders shall come down, each by the sword of his brother. In that day, declares Yahweh of hosts, I shall take you, Zerubbabel, my servant, son of Shealtiel, declares Yahweh, and shall make you as a signet, for I have chosen you, declares Yahweh of hosts.